We are from at home tuition. In this video, we are going to see two examples on how to apply the formula of compound interest. First example is find the amount by which Ram will get on rupees 4096 if he gave it for 18 months at 12.5% per annum, interest being compounded half early. Okay, solution. First, let us see what is given. So, it's given principal. So, Ram will get an amount. So, getting an amount is nothing but principal. So, that is rupees 4096. Then, he gave it at the rate of interest is 12.5% per annum. Okay, 12.5% per annum. So, that is for one year. That is compounded half early. The number of years, here it is given it as 18 months. So, 18 months is 12 plus 6 months. So, 12 months is 1 year and then 6 months is half year. So, it is 1 and a half years. Now, it is given interest is compounded half early. Okay. So, for compounded half early, for interest being compounded half early, we know that rate of interest will be halved and the number of years will be doubled. So, here the given rate of interest is 12 and a half percent per annum. So, it will be half. Okay, so 12 and a half means 12 times 2, 24 plus 1, 25. So, 25 divided by 2. So, it's half. So, it's again divided by 2. So, divide by 2, divide by 2, you will get divided by 4. So, it is 25 divided by 4 percent per annum half early. And then, its number of years should be doubled. So, it is given 1 and a half years. So, if it is doubled, Okay, one and a half years is doubled, then you will get three years. So, now we know all the things, principal, rate of interest and then number of years. Now, we know that the amount formula for compound interest is A equal to P into 1 plus R divided by 100 the whole power N. So, we know all the values P, R and N. So, we can directly substitute in the formula to find the amount. So, P is rupees 4096 into 1 plus R is 25 divided by 4 into 100 to the whole cube. So, N is 3. So, now after simplifying, you will get 4096 into 1 plus 25 divided by 400 whole cube. Okay. So, 25 divided by 400 can be splitted as 1 divided by 4 into 4 the whole cube. So, 4096 into 4 times 4 is 16 plus 1 it will become 17 divided by 16 the whole cube. So, 4096 into 17 divided by 16 into 17 divided by 16 into 17 divided by 16. So, the answer will be 4,913. So, the amount is 4,913. So, hence Ram will get rupees 4,913 after 8 months. So, if he invest 4,096 rupees and if it is compounded half yearly for 12.5% per annum, so, after 18 months, he will get rupees 4,914. Next example is the population of a place increased to 54,000 in 2003 at a rate of 5% per annum. Find the population in 2001. What would be its population in 2005? So, it is given population in 2003. Okay, and it is increasing at the rate of 5% per annum means per year. Now, you want to find the population in 2001 and also the population in 2005. Okay, so it's given. So, we will take the population given as 54,000 in year 2003 as amount here in terms of compound interest formula. So, its amount is 2003. Amount of people in 2003 is 54,000 and it's increasing at the rate of 5% per annum. The number of years is 2 years. So, now we use formula of compound interest. Okay. So, now we want to find population in 2001. That we will check it as principal in terms of compound interest. So, we know that the compound interest formula is amount equal to principal into 1 plus R divided by 100 the whole power N. So, in this case the given we are going to take it as amount and we want to find the principal. Okay. So, that is 2001. Population in 2001 into 1 plus. It is increasing at the rate of 5%. So, 5 divided by 100. So, the year difference between 2001 and 2003. Number of years is 2. So, I am taking it as 2. Okay. So, 
given now we can substitute it like this 54000 equal to p 2001 into 1 plus 1 we are simplifying 5 by 100 so 1 divided by 20 the whole square so 54000 is equal to p into this we can further simplify 20 into 1 is 20 plus 1 is 21 so 21 divided by 20 the whole square so now we are splitting it as 21 into 21 divided by 20 into 20 and rearranging this equation we will get p equal to 54000 into 20 into 20 divided by 21 into 21 so on simplifying this you will get population in 2001 as 48,979.59 so we can approximate it as 48,980 so thus the population in the year 2001 is 48,980 so which is less than the population in the year 2003 that is 54,000 so it's increased by 5% next question is what would be its population in 2005 so now here the population is increasing so, 2005 population, we can take that as amount. Okay, so and then 2003 population, we will take that as principal. We are going to apply the same compound interest formula. A equal to P into 1 plus R by 100, the whole power N. Okay, so here, this is the principal starting population and we are going to find the ending population here. In previous case, we are given with ending population and we have found out the starting population. So now we are going to apply all the things directly. So 54,000 into 1 plus rate of in increasing is 5% divided by 100. The year difference between 2003 and 2005 is again 2. So we are going to take n as 2. So whole square. So 54,000 into 1 plus 5 divided by 100 simplified as 1 divided by 20 the whole square. So it's further simplified as 21 divided by 20 the whole square. So, 54,000 into 21 into 21 divided by 20 into 20. Okay, so it's simplified. You will get the amount of population as 59,535. So, the population in the year 2005 is 59,535. Next example is in a laboratory, the count of bacteria in a certain experiment was increasing at the rate of 2.5% per hour. Find the bacteria at the end of 2 hours. If the count was initially 5,6,000. Okay. So now here the initial count is given. We want to find the final count after 2.5. That is 2 hours. It is increasing at 2.5% per hour. So in previous cases we have taken it as per annum. That is per year. Here it is given as per hour. So we are taking rate of increase is also per hour. And the time is also in hour, so we can directly substitute in the compound interest formula. A equal to P into 1 plus R divided by 100, the whole power N. So here the principal P is the starting one, that is 5,6,000 into 1 plus R is 2.5%, so 2.5 divided by 100. Here the num N is number of hours, so it is 2. So if you simplify, you will get 5,60,000 into 1 plus 1 divided by 40, the whole square. So, further simplification, you can get the amount A as 5,31,616.25. So, you can approximate it as 5,31,616. So, we can say the population of bacteria after 2 hours is 5,31,616. Hope you have understood how to find the rate of increase based on the compound interest formula. Thank you for watching this video.